Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do a quick video to show how to update uh, the Clipper software uh, on the Manta M8 and uh, the CB1 uh, board. Uh, so there are a couple ways to do uh, the update. So this is the working uh, web interface and Beside the errors that I have here, uh, that I, I'm working on the config file, so uh, forget about that. But on on the on this window on the bottom right, uh, there is the update manager. Uh, basically, from this web interface, you can update um, the old Clipper environment uh, from the uh, OS that. Uh, it's down here uh, where it's written system OS packages looks like it's up to date but then the, all the other uh, interfaces uh, all the uh, the clipper screen uh, clipper uh, of course uh, um, uh, system and uh, um, and the other the other interfaces that I installed so let's try to do one update from here and then I'll show how to update from instead from the uh, console uh, so you can do two ways uh, so from this web interface or from login via SSH on the CB1 or the Clipper operating system uh, via the console and there is an application uh, inside the Clipper uh, operating system uh, to do these updates uh, from what I understand, basically this calls those uh, scripts inside the operating system. So let's try to do this Clipper update. Let's update Clipper. Okay, so you click update. And here there is a window and it shows you go through all the uh, updating of the files. And when the, the update is over you find a message uh, on the bottom okay so it's downloaded the gzip it's going through all the scripts and libraries and all that stuff and this is what's going to update oh i cannot move the window okay uh, i forget to check the versioning but that's fine Let's see how long does it take. Successfully installed. Application Clipper update finished. Great. Let's close it. And it says up to date. So the version is 0 0.11. Okay. Whatever. So now let's... Uh, this one... Okay. Set to no recovery. Okay. Same. Probably there is some... Uh, uh, issues there now let's go to the uh, console and the console of this so let me pull up the console no it's not this uh, where can okay right here so I already SSH into the clipper operating system the CB1 that I have and I'm going to so we are at this uh, level so home BQ when you log in you get into this directory or folder whatever you want to call it and if you do LSA LA it shows you the folders there here so what where I want to go is the in Kiev uh, folder so you do Siki Kiev, oh, Q, okay, and up here you find the script, it is kiev.sh dot slash to execute it, you execute it, and it, you get to this interface. Now, um, here it tells you just what what is installed, what is not installed, that kind of thing, but on the uh, menu number two, we can check w what needs to be updated. So if we get there, 
will find what is needs to be updated and what is not uh, what is already updated for example clipper we are just update this uh, this versioning uh, now let's see if we can update the number two on record okay any goods that's it of course the web interface is needs is reset basically because we are updating uh, the software underneath takes some time now if you see here bullseye is basically the Linux operating system and bullseye is their version that uh, the clipper runs on it okay with a debian linux uh, uh, version it's taking a bit of time let's crawl up and see what it's doing Okay. Okay, fifty. Okay, almost done. Okay. Package is done. And now that's the installation of the packages. So you can do this from the web interface, but I wanted to show what's what's going on underneath, and uh, so you have a better understanding of what the system looks like. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. no problems for now good okay done so we are back into the configuration and, and you see the moon wrecker is up to date now now let's do the number three we update the main cell and again it's going to fetch the libraries and then download it and it's done okay number four the fluid interface you can you know update everything at once but it's good to see that everything is going as well and the clipper screen five uh, yeah five and clipper screen is okay it doesn't say that it's up okay it says that it's updated but in this interface it doesn't uh, show the updating probably needs to be a reboot or refresh and now number eight is a system upgrade which is the uh, the operating system so let's do that too okay so it fetches the debian uh, both eyes uh, repository to see what's needed which packages and libraries and needs to be updated and I suggest uh, and I will do whatever there is an update I will do it to the update to keep the system uh, fresh and uh, up to the uh, most recent uh, uh, development or releases Okay, it's upgrading the operating system. Good. Of course, when you do this 
upgrading the operating system, you cannot use uh, the board, but that's okay. Be patient. So it's updating all the services, libraries, and so on, and that's it. Okay, there is this clipper screen that is uh, not showing uh, updated, but the system up to date. Okay, so we'll go back and let's go back to the web interface and we refresh and we are back in now here let's try to do so if we refresh this the update manager it should all this should be uh, green uh, up to date instead of need an update Okay, you see? All green. Uh, Crown Center, I'm not sure. We didn't update that. Okay, let's do it from here. We update that. Update it finished. Good. And let's update the Clipper screen. Okay, it's doing it for me. Successful. PAP. Installed. Okay, oh, they updated the PIP uh, package installer. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Of course, it depends all too on the uh, internet speed that you have uh, at home. I'm doing a bunch of other stuff uh, for my on my workstation. That's why it's taking a bit too, probably. Okay, updated a bunch of uh, li libraries. Uh, Python libraries project, okay. Now it's finishing, okay, great. Uh, so next video, I will probably do check out if the uh, uh, interface on on a screen that I have uh, changed somehow because it's sometime that I didn't check it out maybe there are some new features and stuff and then I want to make sure that my uh, configuration file uh, works okay beside these errors that I know what needs to be done but for example I have dual extruder so I wanted to make sure that there are uh, on the interface it, it, it matches uh, the configuration that I have for the Manta 8P uh, that I'm putting together. And that's it, finish, closed, and it's up to date. Let me see if uh, the interface here, uh, does it show, okay, let's do a quit and rerun.
then you should tell the uh, on number two the update uh, everything's up to date let's see if, if it looks like yeah okay so everything's up to date that's it so let's get out from here let's quit and that's how you do an update for clipper so you do from a web interface it probably is the easiest one but if for some reason you need to uh, use the console i'll show you how to do it and it's very easy so thank you very much for uh, checking out this video please subscribe to the channel i have more videos coming um, put a like and i'll see you on next video bye bye